You want to get Sky Factory 4, and in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do it. What's really cool about Sky Factory? Well, it's an automation tech magic mod pack all based on a sky block. Um, it's, it's really, really cool and one of the best mod packs out there if you're looking for a modded sky block sort of setup. And in order to get Sky Factory 4, we're going to need the Curse Forge Launcher. To download the Curse Forge Launcher, you're going to want to go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is our complete text guide on getting Curse Forge, but we're going to be covering everything in this video as well, so don't worry too much about it. Just once you're here, click on the Download Curse Forge button to be taken to the official Curse Forge download page. Once you're here, you want to click on the Download Stand Alone button to start downloading Curse Forge right Right away. And while this is downloading, how to match from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH to start your very own Sky Factory 4 server for you and your friends. All you need to do is get your server, and then once you've got it, just select Sky Factory 4 in our one click mod pack installer. From there, everything else is taken care of for you, and Sky Factory 4 is added to your server and ready to play with your friends. But when you're hosting a Minecraft server, you will sometimes run into issues, and luckily, there's expert live chat support and a high quality help center to help you out at Simple Game Hosting when you do run into any problems. With that being said, playing Sky Factory 4 with your friends is super easy at Simple Game Hosting, as is adding other mods, plugins, or other mod packs. It's all super simple, so go check it out at the first link in the description down below to break down .xyz slash sgh and start your Sky Factory 4 or other Minecraft server the simple way. Curse Forge is now downloaded. We can go ahead and minimize our browser, and it's going to be located in your downloads folder. I'd recommend moving this to your desktop, but you don't have to. Double click on the CurseForge Windows installer that you downloaded. It's then going to open up the CurseForge installer just like this, where you want to click on Next, click on I have read and agreed to the terms of service here, click on Next again, and now CurseForge will install. It is literally that easy to get CurseForge up and running. Just click next a few times, accept the terms, and boom, CurseForge will install and open up right like so. Once it's open, what we want to do is click on Minecraft here. It's grayed out right now. That's because we've not set up CurseForge for it yet. Let's go ahead and click on Minecraft. Just click on Standard Recommended here and click Continue. We can then come up here to the top and search for Sky Factory four, right like so. And here it is, Sky Factory 4, it's the first one that's here. Click on it, and then just go ahead and click on Install. Now, we can sit here and wait for it to install, or you can click the little Minecraft icon here and go back and watch it install on the My Mod Packs tab. It really doesn't matter which one of these you use. Once it is finished, just hover over it and click Play. Now, you will need to log into the Minecraft launcher using your Microsoft account or any other Minecraft account that you have. That is perfectly normal. This is the default Minecraft launcher. It's just set up and launched through Curve. For so this is the normal Minecraft launcher that you always log into and it's 100% safe to log into it Once you've done that you'll have Sky Factory 4 here and you can go ahead and click play Click play again to confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft and Sky Factory 4 is going to open. Something cool is the hard part's done. The hard part really is getting Curse Words itself. It was super easy to download Sky Factory and then play Minecraft using it. We can then from the main menu go to single player, multiplayer, and of course I went ahead and set up a simple game hosting server running Sky Factory 4 just so I can show you what it looks like. And honestly, it looks like any other Minecraft server or single player world running Sky Factory 4. You join on in, you are on the tree, and you can begin, you know, chopping down the, the tree and getting things going. So there you have it. That's how you can get Sky Factory 4 in Minecraft, get everything installed and up and running. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, and we will see you in the next video. Enjoy this amazing mod pack. I truly do love Sky Factory 4. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.